Welcome to In It to Win It. This is Steve Barton, and this week we are talking about what the big money's doing, what they're doing. Uh, billionaires are selling a record number of stocks, uh, and uh, we're going to share a screen here, take a look at a report from CNBC. Largest stock sellers in 2021 are the CEOs and insiders of these companies. Number one on the list is Elon Musk. This story's a a week or two old, and uh, he's up to 11 billion now selling uh, Tesla shares. Uh, Jeff Bezos is, uh, we'll call that 10 billion of uh, Amazon stock. The Walton family, uh, Walmart is also offloading uh, 6 billion there. And Mark Zuckerberg, uh, four and a half billion has offloaded uh, from his own Facebook. Uh, The CEO also of uh, Microsoft is uh, doing the same thing. Um, what does this mean? Uh, I would argue this means uh, follow the big money, right? If we have any of, uh, of these, again, not a financial advisor, this is not financial advice, but uh, I have been an owner of these companies. <laughs> I've since sold. Uh, but, um, uh, you know, they could have a blow off top, but if the CEOs and the guys that own it are uh, letting their stocks go, what does that tell us? So what uh, we'll take the number one example here. What is Elon doing with it, right? Uh, he's just dumping more of his shares. He is exercising some stock options to uh, buy them back, but I can guarantee you that's at a lower price. Um, and uh, what's, he, uh, what's he moving into? Uh, well, at the beginning of the year, in January, uh, Tesla stated that uh, its latest annual report that the company has updated its investment policy to now include... Bitcoin, gold, and other assets, all right? So what that means when you break it down and you kind of get into it, there's a a report here uh, where they basically uh, break it down for us. Uh, In the last 10K filing with the SEC, Securities and Exchange Commission, Tesla stated that in January 2021, we updated our investment policy to provide us with more flexibility to further diversify and maximize returns on our cash. In other words, they don't want the uh, stocks anymore. They want the, they want the cash. They're trying to get liquid uh, that is not required to m- maintain operating liquidity. In other words, you know, they don't need this to pay their employees. This is extra, right? We may invest a portion of such cash in certain alternative reserve assets, including digital assets, Bitcoin, gold bullion, physical gold, and gold exchange-traded funds, so gold ETFs. Uh, things like, I don't know if this is what they're buying, but an example of a gold ETF would be the GDX or the GDXJ, the exchange-traded fund, right? Uh, and other assets spe- specified in the, f- in the future. Um, so basically, uh, what, what he's doing is uh, he's uh, uh, moving the company uh, from some of his stocks, taking that out as cash, and he's trading that for physical gold bullion for paper contracts to physical gold, Right? And he's trading that for Bitcoin, and he's keeping some of that as cash. So what's interesting about this this point in history is that I believe it's going to be similar to the 1940s or the 1970s, where we have, uh, generally speaking, over that decade, rising inflation. There are points along the graph where we do go into, maybe for a year or two, uh, some disinflationary. In other words, inflation is not going at quite the clip that it would be now. Um, but uh, it does, uh, uh, you, you might get a little disinflation where it, it you know, right now it's at 6.8 is what uh, uh, the government's reporting. Uh, maybe it drops down to two or three. Well, you still got inflation. It's just not quite as, quite as fast, right? Or maybe we even get some disinflation, or, uh, I'm sorry, deflation where it actually does go in the negative. Moments like that, cash is really good to have because things like stocks are going to be on sale and other random things that, that you're, you're not going to know, you know? I mean, maybe um, uh, gasoline prices continue to inflate, uh, but other things do not. Like all the carrier, all the uh, uh, transport uh, uh, container ships that are sitting off the coast right now with a bunch of Christmas <laughs> stuff in them, that stuff's probably going to be pretty cheap in, uh, in February if they can't offload it. That could be an opportunity, right? There's going to be times where uh, cash is going to be Very, very important, and uh, you could have an amazing opportunity if you have it. So you don't want to put everything into gold or silver or uh, into maybe uh, uh, miners or copper mining or whatever. You want to have some uh, cash left over 
uh, for when and if uh, the, uh, the correction comes uh, so that you can capitalize on it, right? Um, so I guess my point is, if Elon Musk, one of the richest men on the planet, is selling his own stock and turning that into physical gold, gold contracts on physical gold, right? Paper contracts on physical gold, Bitcoin and cash. Why not just do what he's doing? Why not just follow the big money? If you guys have some of these stocks, I would take that as, a, as I don't have a red flag, but I would be waving it, right? I would take that as a warning sign, right? Follow the big money, do what the big money is doing. Central banks, governments, and countries have begun buying gold at record levels, and in some cases, doubling their hoard. Why are they doing that? Hope you guys got something out, out of this. Uh, hit the like and subscribe tab, and please share this with anyone that you uh, believe uh, really needs to hear it. It's probably uh, your friend on Facebook that keeps posting pictures of his food. All right. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you next time.